hi guys you are watching go it center and in this video i'm going to show you that how we can set up the optimized windows 11 and believe me you will get marvelous performance speed up and less resources will be consumed by your operating system so i request you always go for the optimized windows 11 rather than the normal windows 11 you will see a big difference in the performance so in this video i'm going to show you that how we can set up the optimized windows 11 through the official windows 11 through the microsoft website so let's start so first of all in order to do so you have to go into the crown chrome browser then once you onto the chrome browser you have to type simply windows 11 download and you will get a first link and then you have to click on that once you click on that then you have to scroll down it wait for a second it is being loading so once you open it you have to scroll down scroll down scroll down and then you have to click onto the windows 11 multi edition iso then confirm then you have to confirm the language and before con confirming the language you have to make sure that what type of language is being used by your operating system it is mandatory so in order to do so type cmd run as administrator once you run a uh, run as administrator you have to type You will get your operating system language which is the united state us now you have to select the same language english united states then confirm then you have option of 64-bit download official windows 11 then you have to click on to the 64-bit so it is being downloading and you can see that it, it will take around 14 to 15 minutes not more than that so i'm going to stop this video uh, otherwise video will get longer so i will come back shortly so our iso has been downloaded and this method will bypass your all the hardware requirements no matter at all you are going to install onto the new pc or onto the old pc no matter at all all the hardware requirements will be bypassed and you will see success windows 11 on your pc so our iso has been downloaded now we will click on to the folder once you click on to the folder then we have to mount this you have to click on to the right click on that and then mount this iso so once you mount your iso your iso will be mounted you can see that your iso has been mounted successfully so your all the files are available here now once you mount the iso then you because we are not using any usb in this installation so we have to use our hard drive as a usb so in order to do so what you have to do let's say in your case if you have only c drive so what you have to do uh, you have to click on to the computer management go into the computer management disk management then right click onto the C drive click onto the C drive and then right click it and shrink volume I'm going to s create a separate partition which will act as a USB of 10 GB so wait for a second So we have to give the size of our partition keep remember this calculation is in mpps so we have to do all the calculation 
in terms of the Mbps. In 1 GB, we have 1024 Mbps. So we are going to shrink this partition uh, with the size of 10 GB. So it will be it would be around 10240. So let's click on that. Partition will be created shortly. You can see that an allocated partition. Now we have to create simple volume. Next, next it will reflect as a G drive. Next, give the name like uh, I'm going to give the name USB one. Next, finish. And you can see that our partition has been created now your second step is you have to move all these files whatever available inside the mount drive into the g drive or our usb so simply copy that copy and then back and then go into the g drive and then paste it So file is going to be pasted so it will take around uh, 5 to 10 minutes or maybe 5 minutes maybe 3 minutes video will get longer I'm going to stop this video and will resume soon so our files ha have been successfully copied you can see that now we have to go on to the browser we have to go into the chrome type ECBCD then you have to download the software you will get a first link then click on that then click on to uh, scroll down it and then click on to the register once you register you can give your email address and simply you can download it The software has been downloaded successfully in front of you now you have to double click on that yes next I agree next install now it's done run it on English okay okay the software will appear in front of you now before using this software here you have to play a little trick let me get the link of uh, uh, github so that I can show you a respective file that will contribute or play a major role to make this windows tiny 11 or of highly optimized windows just give me a second uh, let me get the link from uh, from the another PC I have available over there and I will paste that link into the link of the description I will come back in five minutes so I got the link and this is the link of github just you have to paste it hit enter you will get this website unattended win install and uh, you are going to create your own optimized windows 11 or tiny windows 11 which is official and genuine so just scroll down it inside the asset you have to download this xml file once you click it it will be downloaded then open that file cut it and do, go into the g drive and just paste it that's it now we have to go on to the go on to our software add 
a new entry just click on that click on to the win pe give the name tiny 11 or optimized windows 11 you can say that optimized windows 11 whatever you want you can give it the name and then select the path you have to go inside the g drive click on to the g drive then sources then you have to select boot file boot win boot win here is the file you have to select that once you select that you have to click on to the green button you will get a message here you can see that boot menu successfully that's it now you have to restart your pc so just restart your pc I'm doing onto the virtual machine so let me open my virtual VMware EXSI interface and uh, otherwise video will get longer let me open it then I will come back so you can see that tiny 11 I I gave it name tiny 11 so it has been reflecting here and here we have to so no need to worry about that because the capital one is old one but in your case you will have only tiny 11 or whatever name you will give it to them that name only will be available in my case it is reflecting as two because uh, uh, i have two dvd drive in my virtual virtual machine that is the reason so no need to confuse you confused in your case you will only get only one tiny 11 or whatever name you will give it to them that name will be reflected here so i give it name a small letter t tiny 11 so i have to just click on that and you will see that installation will be started in front of you and all the hardware requirements all the obstacles will be bypassed successfully and you will see highly optimized high performance windows 11 genuine and legal so setup is going on in front of you so we have to select the united states language next keyboard us obviously next then it is being ready in front of you so right now i don't have the product key so i will click on that i have don't have any product key then we have to select our addition because uh, if you remember that we have downloaded the official windows 11 iso multi addition so we i i will go for the pro hit next wait for a second You are getting all the disk options so no need to touch to this g drive just you have to focus on to the main partition this one this zero you can see that 
79 GB and 26 GB is free so we are going to format this partition so you can see that partition has been formatted this step is very crucial don't format the partition that is for USB so we have only formatted the partition which is the main partition so you you can recognize this through the space allocation so you have to click onto the main partition 79 GB of free space then you have to hit next and you will see that genuine windows 11 highly optimized is, is being installed in front of you so it will take around uh, uh, 20 to 30 minutes so once it is done i will resume this video so welcome back guys and your windows 11 highly optimized has been installed successfully you can see that we didn't use any third party software we did it all this thing through the official ISO provided by the Microsoft so everything is done in front of you and once it's done it will give you option because we apply a little trick and uh, that makes it that made it lighter so we applied a little take if you remember that we copied the file uh, into the G drive if you remember that so that tweak will give us a option now you want to enable bit defender or not uh, I don't want to enable bit defender but if you want you can so the another is the user control is disabled so I request you to enable it and it is mandatory so we have to enable it yes okay and uh, we will keep bit defender off but in your case if you want to on you can and just we will restart the apply changes so your system will restart one more time and uh, after that i will show you the performance of highly optimized windows 11 that is installed through the official windows iso so highly optimized windows 11 is ready in front of you you can see that there is start menu at the left hand side and you can shift to the right hand side if you want you can do it through the uh, task manager settings and if you want to do that and if i right click on that you will see that a simple menu it will cut down all the heavy things on your uh, windows 11 so your windows 11 will be fast even on old computers so if you if i show you a start menu you will not see any useless app it is totally empty and whatever application you want games or whatever you want you can install through the microsoft store or through the edge browser or you can install chrome browser whatever you want and you can install only required application it will give you best performance full performance to your applications rather than the operating system means now you have the lightweight windows 11 and i request you to use this windows 11 instead of the normal windows 11 so that you you can get a better performance thank you so much for watching this video like subscribe hit the bell icon forward to your family and friends and everything is genuine we have we did it from the genuine iso so go for that thank you so much for watching this video like subscribe hit the bell icon forward to your family and friends stay safe bye